What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to convert your bedrock worlds to Java. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we post just like this one. When you're playing Minecraft, you might eventually decide to convert between versions. This could be for a lot of reasons. Either you just want to switch to a different version altogether, or you want more functionality with something like Spigot or Paper for plugins. Normally, Bedrock and Java are not compatible with each other, but using some tools, you can convert them to the other. Here at Apex Hosting, we're going to show you how easy it is to convert Bedrock to Java. Our first step for preparing your world and making sure that it's ready for a conversion is you're going to go ahead and head to Minecraft Java Edition. Go into single player and make sure to just create any world. This is going to be what you're turning your bedrock world into later on. So just make sure that you just make any world and that you remember the name for later on. Our first step is we're going to go ahead and head to the Amulet World Editor website. This is going to be linked in the description below the video. Once you're there, go ahead and download the Amulet World Editor. Make sure that you're using the latest release if you're on Windows. Then, once this file is downloaded, make sure to drag it to a location you can easily locate it later on, either on your folder or your desktop. Make sure that you also extract it. You can do this with a program like 7-Zip, or WinRAR by right-clicking and then extracting. Once a folder is extracted, you can go ahead and just remember where it is. Now, you're gonna head to that folder that you put Amulet into, and what you're looking for here is the amulet underscore app dot exe. Amulet underscore app dot exe. And then just double-click that to open it up. When you open this file, it's going to give you this little menu right here. And you can click on open world. And then that's going to open another menu to select either Java or Bedrock. Go ahead and select your Bedrock world. Any world really is going to do. And then click it. What you're going to need to do now is select your output world. And on Java, select the world that you just made. Make sure that it's not a world that you're okay with getting corrupted, as this can destroy worlds. Definitely be careful and make sure to back up everything before you do this. And then click on close world to finish this process. This is gonna take any existing chunks from the bedrock world and then translate them to Java. This means that to find your chunks, you might need to teleport to the coordinates from the original world. With that said, Bedrock World Chunks should now be converted to Java Edition. All in-game blocks and entities should be transferred over now, including chess. But because of player IDs might be different, go ahead and just empty out your inventory before you do this into chess before transferring to avoid any errors. With this knowledge, now we're ready to convert Bedrock Worlds to Java so that you can play it on your Apex server. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.